necessarily Judgment International. His next is a 10 foot on Group 1 at York. At the top, we've got Arabian Knight for Pandrang Hogan, Johan Vermeer, Leon van Rensburg, Lakota Warrior, Pandrang Hogan, Milton Regis, Darren Thompson, Asaka Play, Vinnie Gennard, Relco, Craig Beckwith, Seabird, Martin Leadham, Vidono, Darren Thompson, World Class, David Healy, Awaken at Dawn, and Korea Go Lightly for Craig Allen. Dakar Girl, Dan Hughes, Light My Fire, David Rawson, Sierra Success, Leon van Rensburg, Slow Coach, Joshua Sutherland, Hookham, Dan Hughes, Star of Surprendra for Paul Rhodes has also got Chicane, Liffard looks David Robertson and Sweet Tooth Joshua Sullivan, a massive field of 20 for this, the race that's quite often billed as the graveyard of champions ever since Brigadier Gerald got beaten in his very first run in way back in 1972 when it was called the Benson and Edges Gold Cup, they're all installed and ready to go and away they go since then it's been called the matchmaker and probably something else as well it's the judgment international these days and it's arabian knight who's the first one to show so arabian knight then gets out and across to the fence in the lead as they sort themselves out big field of 20 they're gonna to have to negotiate a couple of turns as well so you're not going to want to be caught too wide but it's Star of Sapendra who's got the lead from the wide running light. My fire is going to try and tuck in, I would think so, to Seabird on that one's inside. Sweet Tooth has moved through into second. Relco's got a good run on the rail if he can hold the position. Milton Regis is also alongside that one there. Pretty tightly packed with the exception of the leader, Star of Sapendra, who is in the lead for Paul Rhodes. Kriago Lot is moved through into second in the green and the yellow hoops. And on the rail, Relco's going well. Light My Fire is wide on the track, wider still. He's the second Joshua Southern horse, that slow coach, looking towards the back. He's Arabian Knight, he was away quickly, he's now the back marker on the inside. But Star of Sapendra is in the lead then by about two lengths to Kriago Lightly in second. Relco on the rail is third, then Sweet Tooth and Milton Regis, then slow coach. Seabird's up there, Liffard looks. The Grey is also not too far away. Johan Vermeer and Sierra Success are going to need some luck in running, but it's Star of Sapendra as they begin the sweep into the long straight. It's Star of Sapendra who's got the run and got the lead from Sweet Tooth and Milton Regis. Then comes um, Vidono coming up the centre of the track with a good looking run to challenge for the lead now. Star of Sapendra has got the rail, but Vidono up the centre of the track being chased by Seabird and also by um, Slow Coach up the centre of the track, but it's Star of Sapendra who's still just in the lead on the rail. Star of Sapendra in front. Seabird up the centre of the track. Arabian Knights now come through from the back and he's come through to challenge again. Past the two furlong pole. Star of Sapendra trying to make every yard a winning one. It's Star of Sapendra in the lead. Arabian Knight in second. Here comes Seabird. Chicane Vidono and Awaken at Dawn. They pass the furlong pole and Arabian Knights hit the front from Chicane in second. Vidono and Seabird up the centre of the track. It's Arabian Knight in the lead. Seabird is in second. Finishing well is Light My Fire and Dakar Girl. It's Arabian Knight. Seabird one last lunge on the outside. Finishing fast is Light My Fire. It's close. It's very close on the line. A very close finish. Light my fire finishing like a train would definitely have worn in another 10 yards or so, but did he get there? I don't think he did. Arabian Knight, who went out like a rocket, then dropped back to last and then came through and has taken it. Unless it's a dead heat, Arabian Knight's won it. That's a big win for oh, Padre Hogan at 100 to 1, and it's taken it by a short head, rated just 96, probably the lowest rated horse in the race, has taken the Judmont International. What did I tell you at the beginning? The graveyard of champions as Arabian Knight takes it for Padre Hogan, the lowest rated horse of the 20, has one of the biggest rake of the week for Van Rake Hogan. Light my fire for David Robertson was second. Seabird for Martin Leedham third. Awaken at dawn for Craig Allen fourth. And a soccer play for Vinnie Gerard fifth. And the ones you'd expect to be up there, the Johan Vermeers and the Hookums are right out the back. And Arabian Knight takes it for Van Rake Hogan.